What's going on guys at Panda Express? Getting some food before I do my prep. So I got the bigger plate. I have some general sows, some orange chicken, some veggies, some white rice, and then a side of grilled teriyaki chicken. So I've never actually had the general sows chicken here. So hopefully that's good. I usually get the orange chicken and the grilled teriyaki with no sauce and then just have a little water cup. And then I'm actually gonna go to Costco for this week's meal prep. And I'll share something about myself. I'm a very portion style eater. What do I mean by that is I eat the thing that I like the least first. And I save what I like the most for last. I don't know if anybody else does that, but so I eat the general sows. The teriyaki chicken's almost done. Orange chicken, rice and veggies. I like my rice and veggies and I like my orange chicken. The grilled teriyaki is really good too. Gener the general sows, it was all right. It wasn't really spicy. It was more tangy. I don't know. Are you guys portion style eaters? That's just how I eat. I don't know, it's weird. It's just what I've always done. I wouldn't assume that they're gonna look at the picture on the card, but if they do, I guess I had to play it off as I'm Alex. I don't think we look that similar, but I think it's doable. I didn't mention this yet, but hopefully the video quality is not that bad. I'm actually filming on my phone right now. My camera's at home, but I'm out of Costco now. Gotta give a shout out to my checkout lady because I gave her the card and I didn't think she'd look at the back of it. And she looked at the back of it because I got into Costco just fine. But when I gave her the card, she looked at the back of it and she was like, this isn't you. I was like, no, I dyed my hair darker and my face changed. <laughs> no, that didn't happen. That's not how it went. Uh, but she was cool. She let me, she said, you know, don't do it again. Just make sure you come with him. And I was like, all right, next time I got to go with Alex because they're not going to let me through again, probably. So here are all the groceries that I got from Costco. It's actually everything I'll need for this week, but it's definitely different than my other previous weeks so let's go over it i'll let you know what some of the stuff costs i have a receipt here the good thing about costco is that you buy in bulk a lot of times so i have enough food or some of the items for you know several weeks not just one week but will i make it my go-to place every week for getting groceries probably not there are some things that i liked there and there are some things i'll probably either have alex pick me up or i'll go with alex to get because i know now that I can't go without him. I mean, I kind of knew it in the beginning, but that's besides the point. Let's go over the groceries. So, this week I'm gonna do chicken. I was gonna do, they had these pork chop things that were already marinated, but I couldn't find them, they weren't there. Alex had them last week, but they weren't there this week. So I just got some chicken. So I have two, four, six, but I think each section, yeah, each section has two breasts in it. So. I think I only have to use like three of them. And then I can put the other three in the freezer for next week. So that's kind of cool. Um, they're not seasoned with anything, so I'll have to season them. Something different. I got some marinated wild Alaskan salmon. The macros for this, uh, a standard size uh, versus this. Okay, this package. Don't go with this. This package, they're six ounce pieces, so it's 245 calories, 14 grams of fat, one gram of carb and 30 grams of protein. So this will be my lunch or dinner. I'm not sure yet. I'll probably pair it with some rice. Um, I have some jasmine rice left over from last week. Is it blurry? No, I thought it was blurry. I don't know why. Okay, then I got some frozen broccoli. They had fresh broccoli there, but I just decided to get the frozen stuff. Um, oh, packaging for individual one pound bags. That's cool. So there's four individual bags in here that are one pound each package. So I'll probably use two of them, three of them for this week because I need, I'm going to use broccoli for the salmon and broccoli for the chicken. And then I'll have some broccoli left over for the next week. I bought a pineapple just because I think I was just overwhelmed by the new experience. I was like, Ooh, I'm going to get a pineapple. Didn't, I mean, there really, there was no point behind the pineapple thinking about it now, but now I have pineapple for the week. I got some bananas, and there's two, four, six, there's eight bananas in here for the smoothies. I have this silk almond milk, 
So it's three half gallons. I usually go through one and a half to two half gallons of almond milk. So I'll have one left over for next week. Possibly. Well, I should at least have one left over for next week. Then I got some frozen strawberries for the smoothies. Okay, so there's more of a reason behind these. These sweet and salty almond uh, Nature Valley bars. I've been wanting to snack a little bit more lately. So, um, and I'm bulking, so I decided to get these. They're not the healthiest, but they're also not the worst. So like if you're in college um, or you're on the go and you need a quick snack, these aren't terrible. There's 48 bars in here. Uh, there's 160 calories, seven grams of fat, 22 grams of carbs, and three grams of protein. So not terrible. Not terrible if you need an on-the-go snack. I got some Quaker flavor variety oatmeal. So there's maple and brown sugar, 22 packets. There's apple and cinnamon, 16 packets. Cinnamon spice, 14 packets. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, why don't I get these? And it's really only because the sodium is a little bit higher in these than it is in like the regular old-fashioned oatmeal. That's honestly the only reason. So I got those, and obviously those are gonna last me several weeks. Then I got this Greek yogurt fruit on bottom. I don't normally get these types of things, but here's something else about me. You're learning just a bunch of wonderful things about me in this video. I don't like to shop at different spots and you know so I don't want to have to jump around to different stores throughout my day if I'm there I'm gonna look to get as much stuff if not everything I need that was the point behind these I didn't want to go to Kroger just to get yogurt so I was like this yogurt is you know it's close enough it'll work so that's where I was saying you know do I think Costco will be my you know go to every week place probably not I'll get a few of the things I think I like the salmon a lot, um, the oatmeal. They had a lot of like these little, you know, snacks as well. So I don't know yet what I'll get there from a week to week basis, but I might have Alex start picking me some stuff up. But back to this, there is a black cherry flavor, blueberry, and a strawberry. And how many cups are in here? 15 six ounce cups, so five of each flavor. The total came out to 97.90. It might seem a little bit high, but again, you have to realize I'll have some broccoli left over, I'll have some chicken left over, I'll have Greek yogurt, I'll have oatmeal, I'll have these sweet and salty bars, I'll have silk almond milk. I'll have a lot of things left over for next week. So my next week's bill will then be much lower than it normally is, or probably, I would guess probably 20 to $30 less, probably somewhere in that range. But yeah, 97.90. No bag throwing. I mean, I just feel lost right now. But anyways, I'm gonna to get to the prep portion of the video. So, stick around. So I will tell you something that's not cool though. When I was checking out, the lady was like, hey, uh, this isn't you on the card. Wow, really? Yeah, you think? Yeah, I was like, oh, I thought he said, you know, he said I could use it. And she was like, oh yeah. Yeah, well she checked this time. And then she was like, well, I'll let you go through, but he's gonna have to come up and pick his card back up. Good luck today. Yeah, so you're gonna have to go pick it up so they can explain the rules to you again. You bitch.
There are the meals. Let's go over them really quick. So for dinner, I have a little bit over a cup of broccoli, a little bit over a cup of jasmine rice, and eight ounces of chicken. We've got five of those meals. And then for my lunch, I have three quarter cup to a cup of broccoli. I have about three quarter cup of jasmine rice, and then I have a six ounce piece of salmon, or that's what they said was on the package. So five of those meals. And I do have some leftovers. I have some leftover rice, I have some leftover chicken, and I have one piece of salmon left. So today is Saturday, and now I have meals for Sunday. So that's why I kind of like to make a little bit extra so I have meals for Sunday because a lot of people ask like, oh, you only prep for five days. What do you do on Saturday and Sunday? Well, as you saw, I generally will have a cheat meal on Saturday because I usually run out of meals. And then tomorrow I'll have some prepped food left over. Or I could even eat one of the prep meals if I really wanted to. So Saturdays and Sundays are a little bit more flexible sometimes but usually I still try to eat very, very healthy and hit a certain macro. I am bulking a little bit too, so now I get to be a little more flexible. The joys of bulking. But that is gonna wrap it up for this week's grocery haul and meal prep video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, don't forget to leave feedback. And also, again, there'll be new shirts coming out here soon. I'm still playing with the designs, so make sure to keep an eye out for it. The link to the uh, online shop is in the description. I think it's all the way at the bottom, so check it out. But please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.